While I was searching for something on the internet, I came across this advertisement for a brand of air rifle pellets called Sussex Sabo, in which a set of five, yes, five pellets were offered for sale for three pounds and seventy-five pence, which translates to a bit less than four thousand rupees. For that money, I can get several thousand air rifle pellets and years of blinking delight. That said, I recall that I had a box of these super rare pellets stored away somewhere. Here's an image of the box. And these are the contents. A bunch of copper plated lead pellets and an equal number of plastic sabots that look like miniature black shuttlecocks. But first, what is a sabo? In tank warfare, a type of round known as a sabo discarding round may be used. A sabo discarding round has a narrow, hard, penetrating core projectile seated within a larger diameter housing called a sabo which allows the narrow round to be fired out of a much larger bore barrel. The sabo part quickly separates from the core projectile and the projectile itself travels at a high velocity to hit an armored target with great kinetic energy to achieve penetration through thick armor. Sabo pellets were designed to imitate that, albeit with air rifles. The seller who sold me these pellets somewhere in England in 1984 told me that these rounds would retain their energy for a greater distance and have greater penetrating power as the plastic sabo would be discarded a short distance outside the barrel. This short video shows how the pellet needs to be nestled in the plastic sabo and then loaded onto a Springer air rifle. A little pen-like loader is provided and the pellet and the sabo can be pushed into the loader either manually or with the help of a little hole provided in the tub of pellets as shown. This is how the pellet and sabo are finally loaded into the air rifle. Here is a short blurry video of how the core pellet and sabo separate out a few feet outside the barrel. Sorry about the poor quality. It took me quite an effort to get even this. These pellets are now simply historical collector's items. Their accuracy is poor and inaccurate pellets are absolute junk for any shooter. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe.